morning everybody so now that we have our base and our little mouth for our sea anemone now we're going to add on the little tentacles so i took a different color there's all kinds of different colors that you can use for sea anemones it's really kind of up to you i decided to go with this three um, color scheme and sea anemones tend to be darker on the base and a little bit lighter on the tentacles so i just took a little teeny piece of clay and now I'm going to start rolling it out, but I'm going to have my hand at an angle. Instead of flat, I'm going to angle it a little bit. So that way I'm not pushing as hard on this end and I'm pushing a little bit harder on that end so I can get it really nice and pointy. Right now, depending on how long you want your tentacles to be, um, you could make them longer and skinnier. You can make them smaller. It also depends on how big your base is for how many you actually need. But this is the basic shape and you're going to need a whole bunch of them because you basically want um, at least two and probably three roll rows of tentacles. Now, whenever you add a tentacle on, you're going to need to add just a little bit of glue and you're going to start with the, um, inside area first. So I'm just going to have a little teeny bit of glue on the end there and I'm going to push this on. Now the glue is going to end up being um, clear in the end. So if you get a little blob, that's okay. If you get a giant blob, wipe it off. Okay. Use a little paper towel or something and get it. So once you get the first one on there, you can kind of bend them a little bit as you go. Cause remember they wave around. They're not just static. Now, if you're getting a, a bunch of glue on the end of your glue thing, you can always just use a little bit of that to get, um, the glue on the end here, but you're just going to keep adding them on. So you're going to add on that top row all the way around. Once you've added it on, bend it a little bit, kind of try to keep it organic -y looking. So that just means that you don't want like a clear angle. You want it to look like it's a, you know, flowing around in the ocean, right? And they don't all have to flow in the same way because there's lots of different sea currents and these little suckers are trying to catch little fish and little particles of, you know, plankton and whatnot. So um, they're going to be moving all over the place. So you're going to go all the way around the top. And like I said, depending on the size of your sea anemone, you're going to want at least two rows, but possibly three rows, depending on what you want it to ultimately look like and how big it is. Whee. So let me get this first row on and then I'll show you the second row. Now, when you go to add this onto your actual coral base, you are gonna need to make sure you glue it on with this oven bake glue, okay? If you just set it on there and try to bake it, it's probably not gonna stick. Oh, it's starting to get a little heavy on the one side, but once I get it all the way around, it should be okay. And you do want to be kind of careful not to mess up your other rows as you're doing this. All right. So we're almost there. It is handy to keep a little paper towel next to you so you can uh, wipe your fingers from time to time because if you work messy and you have junk all over your fingers then it's much more likely that your project is going to get really messy too and it's not going to look as nice. Okay so the only tricky bit is when you get to the last couple because you want to make sure like you don't have any weird gaps so um, 
you know, if you, like mine is pretty close, I'm only gonna need to kind of shove stuff to the side a little bit, but this hasn't been baked yet, so it's still squishy. So if you have a little tiny, tiny space and you need to shove these together, that's okay. And if you have a slightly bigger space, you can always shove them apart just a little bit. But so here's my first row, right? Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing, but add on to a second row. Now, if you have enough glue already just kind of there, then you could just, you know, squish this on to here. Now, if you don't, if you only have a little bit of glue on this part, then do add glue onto the end of these. And you kind of want to add the second row in between that first row, right? So it's kind of like just slightly, like a half drop, slightly in between. And then same thing, you're just gonna go around and you're gonna, you can curl them, make them look all wavy. But once you add that second row on, it's gonna look really, really wavy, right? Now pretend I've already done all that, right? So pretend I've already done my second row all the way around. When you go to add it onto your base, you're gonna need to add glue onto the bottom here and then you can push this onto that with a little glue and then you can go ahead and bake it, right? All right, so be creative, have a good time with this and thanks everybody.